Let me give you an idea. Had an auditor. He became very ill. Matter of fact, he was paralyzed from the middle of his back down. He became extremely ill from a tropical illness, sudden assault, in Algeria, which was at war. He lived there. Algeria was issuing visas to prospective visitors only after four months of waiting, and this case would not admit of this much delay. Four months. In other words, any auditor going to Algeria to audit him would have had to have waited four months before he could get the visa. By that time, our boy would have been dead. Jack Campbell in Paris was witness to an auditing session, which veteran auditor, though he is, left him gasping. Jim Skelton was ordered in England to go to Algeria and take care of this case. When he tried to get a visa in London, he was told, come on. When he tried to get a visa in Paris at first inquiry, he was told, hmm, no. Four months, four months from now, after you waited that long, so on. Well, Jim thought he was doing very poorly. He thought he was doing very poorly because it took him four days. Jack Campbell took him around to some of the foreign offices of France, and Jim talked to, that's in quotes, the various officials. He spoke French, of course. And uh, Jack Campbell watched these fellows being audited, you might say, through a calm lag of no. And Skelton simply took the bit in his teeth and audited them all through their calm lag of no. Mm -hmm. What else would you say no to? He just overtly audited these people across government clerk desks and so forth until they gave him an emergency via Algeria, the only one that has been issued. It had to be certified by the War Office, the Minister of War, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Transportation. It took him four days to go down the list. And he did the whole thing with auditing. He didn't do anything else. He didn't talk to these people. He didn't explain anything to these people. He just went around and ran out their calm lag on no until they obsessively said yes and signed it. <laughs> 